Okay, guys. So let me uh, let me just clarify what positive and negative means when it comes to the RH factor or any kind of titer test that you send in specifically to have something tested within your blood or mucus. Okay, testing positive and negative means that there are specific algorithms. There's a programming within the testing system that has a specific threshold that if you meet that threshold, it will prove a positive on a titer test and a negative, okay? And so just because you test negative for something doesn't mean that you don't have some form of it in you. It just means you don't have as much relative to the threshold that was programmed in that titer test, okay? So negative doesn't mean you don't have it. When you are, let's say, for instance, an RH factor, plus or minus, you have the RH factor. It's just a matter of how many uh, titers, how many antibodies that you have hold inside that will that has the, the 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 algorithms to prove positive okay but if you are rh null it means you don't have any of those titers even a small amount that would then trigger a negative rh nulls are very sensitive to the environment because they don't have that kind of information and if they get introduced to that information they may have inflammation those are also the rh negatives when an RH negative comes in contact with an RH positive, then they, they, have, they have the propensity to be taken over, to be converted. And that conversion process can be inflammatory. Okay? So just because you test negative for anything, you say you test any for anything, like for COVID, for any kind of test out there, you test for it, you test negative, it doesn't mean you don't have it. You do have it. You just don't have the infection. So those that test positive for COVID have the infection. Those that have ne test negative don't have the infection, but wait for the frequencies. The frequencies wake up what's already laid in dormant within. So what if the frequencies were raised during the times of 2019, that we all had a certain form of COVID that wasn't active within the frequencies that we were within and it wasn't being affected by the, the, the viruses that we were exposed to and even during cold and flu season no one was testing for covid right they were just testing for the flu and there's a million versions of the flu so even if you tested for one flu strain and you happen to test negative for that flu strain doesn't mean that you probably had covid at the time but they weren't testing for covid so you didn't know what it was you just had some kind of flu strain because we're told that you know not all flu strains are going to come up or be protected with the different therapies but what if we already had the covid 19 within our body and they just raised the frequency and then the frequency brought the beast to life. And then when you go and test for it, and they already have a test developed for that specific threshold, that algorithm, and you have already, you know, you have your predisposed issues that come to surface, those predisposed issues will have that algorithm in it because you already have it within you. Everybody has fucking COVID. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I tested positive. Oh, I tested negative. I don't know what I have. Right? And so then those therapies and the antibodies are used uh, there's antibodies used in the therapies after it's been purified. Okay, so test. So anytime you test for something, it's really a smoke and mirrors testing for any kind of disease. It's like, what? What are you? Why are you testing? Who told you to test for it? The reason why they want you to test for stuff because they get your DNA. Okay, you have. Everybody has all forms of different viruses within them. If you're in a in a community of people. And you're not in a bubble. You're going to have some form of it. Just a matter of how much and if it's causing inflammatory responses, immunological responses. So when someone tells me, oh, I don't have COVID, uh, I don't have COVID. Yeah, you fucking do. And even if you test negative for it, you have it because you tested for it. Testing negative means you have it. You just don't have as much as someone who tested positive. It's all relative. This is all, this is all theory of relativity. This is all Einstein's. This is all how, how you develop a storyline. What do you mean a storyline? Because they, the storyline is that, that, you know, that, that, that we're not going to make the, te the test so sensitive. They're going to test for everything because everyone's going to freak out. They're like, well, I'm asymptomatic, and how can I test positive for COVID? Well, the reason why people who are asymptomatic testing positive for COVID is because it's now part of them. But, they're, but they don't have an inflammatory response. It's just now part of them. So you're saying that, oh, then, so then, then, then they go get put into quarantine as if they were some kind of pathogen. Well, I mean, anyone that is, that has assimilated 
and now their body is finally assimilated to the COVID, and there's someone who was less assimilated, well, that's not my problem that I assimilated and you fucking didn't. Don't make me, don't make me the bad guy. But that's why they eradicated the testing because even people who are asymptomatic and they still test positive, they don't understand why. They, they don't get it. And so then what's the point of testing if, if, if that's going to be the outcome eventually? Well, that is the outcome eventually. They want everyone to have some form of COVID in them. It's just a matter of how much and then how, can, how do you mitigate against really aggressive inflammatory responses and then not everybody can handle the inflammatory responses. And so that's why they're like, okay, wear a mask or get this V if you need to. And not that that's going to really help in the long run, but that's the, the whole point of the, of the protection, right? What's protection is basically conflicting programming, positive and negative, trying to counteract each other. That's what the A and B blood types are, is the counteracting. There's, there's one that's going to be an antigen, another one's going to counteract it with an antibody, antigen, antibody, antigen, antibody. And that's in the A and B blood types. And so there's a war inside of those who are A and B, and then there's also a war of those who are type O that hold that programming, that glutenated programming that's causing them to be either really emaciated or really obese. And then the whole RH factor is just like, okay, you know, how much of the RH do you hold within? And if you're RH null, well, then you are really, you're, you're, you're susceptible. You are, you're a sitting duck for an inflammatory response. Because you'll get infected by someone who is RH negative, and you'll also get infected by someone who is RH positive. And RH negative has already been kind of like acclimated, but they still need to get converted. But they're trying to, you know, uh, mitigate against conversion, trying to resist the conversion process, so they're RH negative. But an RH null has two more steps to go to be an RH positive, and so it means they're even more of a sitting duck because they don't have enough of that acclimation to even deal with an RH negative or an RH positive, so they're in a fucking bubble. And they are really sensitive to the environment. And they're probably taking in a vast amount of antibiotics and other types of, of cures. So they don't feel any kind of conversion process, even to be an RH negative. It's pretty fascinating what's going on out there. But that's it. Bye.